Bam. New shirt. Oh yeah, look at that. That can only mean one thing. New states? Well, yeah, that too. I got a shower. Oh, me too. And it was nice. So we got a shower, mm -hmm. dumped our tanks. Nice and nice and refreshing way to start this day, which is where we're leaving Assateague. And we're gonna be patriotic today. Do you know that? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna to go to the nation's we're going capital. To DC. We are going to leave Assateague and drive up to Delaware. Cruise through. Unofficially, it'll be our 30th state, but we're not spending the night there, so I don't really think that should count. But we'll count it anyway, because why not? Mm -hmm. We uh, we counted Virginia the other day, even though we didn't stay there yet. But tonight we are staying in Virginia, in, in Alexandria, at an old friend of mine, a uh, college friend. And uh, so we will be there tonight in Virginia. But in the meantime, we are going to go do some driving and have a wonderful, new, awesome day. Sounds like fun. And I've never been, so... Never been where? To Delaware? Delaware and D.C. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I've driven through Virginia, but never stopped. All right. Just on 95, you know. This is a day of news. I mean, new, new <laughs> shirt, new haircut. Well, old haircut. Just cleaned <laughs> it up. All right, let's get on the road. Let's go. Customs, no border patrol, nothing. We just like we just drove just over the drove line. Over the line yeah. But there wasn't a line either. That was a crazy thing. I wasn't a line to get in. I kept expecting a line, like Google Maps is showing me, and we just drove like drove right through. It's amazing. Welcome to state number 30-ish. Delaware. Sweet. You will always be 30-ish in our hearts. Because we're not staying, but we did technically come and visit. So alright. Huck is, Huck is thrilled. <laughs> Huck, welcome to Delaware. I'm waking up. We're giving you all kinds of firsts. <laughs> Let sleeping dogs lie, is yes. that what you're saying? Yes, please let sleeping puppies lie. Delaware! Della who? Della what? Delaware. Get it? No. Who, what, where, when, why? No. Delaware. Oh yeah, Delaware. Delaware, I get it. If I worked for the Delaware Board of Tourism, I would use that right there. Delaware. And then you'd show people like why Delaware and then Dela Who and like famous people from Delaware. It's a big marketing thing. Yeah. I'm a freaking it's marketing smart. genius. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It was like why homing? Why Wyoming is home. Why homing? Right? One, one of these days, I'm going to have a brilliant idea. If you live in Delaware and you want to run with that, please give all credit to Called to Wander. Just just referrals and backlinks. That's good enough for us. We don't need any cash. We'll, we'll figure that out on our own. We need cash. Okay, we need cash. So if you want to run with it and it works out for you, we'd appreciate a small kickback. Like the kind of kickbacks that take place in government. Like that, that kind of kickback. All right. Hey, Lindsay. We have been forced into a detour. A detour? A detour in Delaware. A detour in Delaware. Yes. These roads have been beautiful. Yeah. Southern Delaware, maybe the whole state of Delaware, I don't know. Lots of farm land. Yeah, beautiful secrets, man. Like, this is, uh, this is pretty. Um, I've only been to Delaware in February and two feet of snow. And uh, that's not the Delaware that I, I'm seeing right now. This is pretty spectacular. I, I assume I turn here because everyone else everyone is. Else is. <laughs> They're not telling us. The detour in Delaware is not being very clear. It's not being very descriptive. It's very busy. A lot of cars. Well, 
they're all going the other way, so that's fine. Unless they know something we don't know. Are we at war? That's that's always my fear is we're out on the road and we don't like pay attention. The news. And next thing I know it's like, yeah, there's China's taking over or something. Um, so yeah, so look at this. House, it's leaning. I'm gonna get back to the driving in the Delaware on the detour. The tour. <laughs> we got the da the the dash the dash cam. <laughs> Too much Delaware alliteration. We have the dash cam going and it is remarkable. So if I just keep talking, hey Mac, get in your lane. Stay in your lane, bro. Uh, this is like a neighbor neighborhood road, maybe. And there's now 10,000 cars that have been channeled on it. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead and look at this bridge. Uh, it's a little different. We're going back over the Chesapeake. We are, but a different part. Yeah, the northern part. And a tunnel. Headed toward Annapolis and DC. But definitely no tunnel. Look at all these people sailing. I'm not driving back over ever again. But there was definitely wind because I saw like 12 sailboats. That's why I didn't there. want you telling me about how many sailboats were down there. Because <laughs> in the back of my head, I'd be thinking, oh, sailboat sailing means wind, means one little gust, and whoop, off we go, off into the afterlife. That freaked me out. I, I don't get freaked out by very much driving. I'm getting used to this thing. Rocket and I are one. But holy cow, that was like, there was no shoulder at all, that little guardrail, it wasn't even gonna bump us back in the right direction. We would just go like cartwheeling over it. Whew, and that was long. Man. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're fine. So we're gonna try to take a little pit stop up here in Annapolis where the United States Naval Academy is. My father went to the Naval Academy. I almost went to the Naval Academy. It's a cool little town. We're gonna go do a little drive through because we have the time. Why not? Why and we not? survived the Bay Bridge. So, uh, yeah, let's see that. You want to talk about Washington, D.C.? Well, we tried driving through D.C. I don't even want to talk and about it. <laughs> it kind of, I mean, it didn't start off bad. And then it just turned into a fiasco. He's giving me therapy. Because they're like, we kept seeing no truck signs. Well, the first one we didn't really see, but we had a guy come out and pretty much wave us down and say, you can't drive down here. You mean the police officer? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just a guy. It was a police. He was nice. Really nice guy. Oh, I didn't think he was a police. I thought he was like a security. No, he was a police type. officer. Okay. Yeah, he was really nice. So yeah. we did get some help from the start, which kind of put me on paranoid mode because... Exactly. Because we're like, well, then where, where else can, can we, we not go? go? Where can we not go? You know? And I've then, only ever been to D.C. either when I was driving a little car or when somebody else was driving me around or when I was taking public transportation. 
And so I thought it was going to be nice and easy. I'm petting the dogs Sorry. right now, right? Because I need Sorry. therapy. They're my therapy. Sit Lindsay's down. stressed out about them, but I'm... I need my I need my puppy therapy. Hey, 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 hey. That's it. So, DC was a, a fiasco, nightmare. We saw all kinds of protest stuff um, posted everywhere. Yeah, so we didn't get out. Yeah, we couldn't get out. We couldn't find where to park. The one place we found to park was going to be along the mall, but then at four o'clock, you have to move. All traffic, all lanes flow through the parking area. So, anyway, Lindsay kind of sort of got a taste of DC, but she got the worst of it. Yeah. And maybe right now. And there now, was a lot of construction. Maybe the worst of it is kind of what par like that's what Washington is. It is the worst of life right now. <laughs> Everything about Washington DC yeah. is bad right now. Um, but we're not in Washington DC. We're in Alexandria, waiting for our friend, waiting for my friend to get home from work. Oh. We're parked on the street. That was a little bit of work. We'll show you the blocks that we've got underneath us to try to get level, and uh, hopefully our, our emergency parking brake holds. Because if not, we're going for a Nantucket sleigh ride in the middle of the night. <laughs> not really well, Nantucket sleigh ride. We're going to go rolling forward, and we're going to fall off blocks there. At least it's not a BMW in front They're of pretty us. pretty high. Yeah, still. But we should be good, and um, we're hoping to have a relaxed, chill night, catching up with my friend. Um, and just, yeah, hanging out. And then tomorrow morning and getting out of here at the break dawn. I want to peace out. Yep. I got, I got out. no love for Washington, D.C. No love. Looking back on Charleston, as much as I didn't feel Charleston, I liked, I liked it. A lot it. better. I liked it. This place, oh my gosh. And that bridge, the, the bridge. It, it's just been a terrible day. So I'm going to go ahead and call we it. We thought we couldn't go down. No, and no. There the, was no way to turn around. I'm talking about the bridge oh. over the bay that had me sweating in my palms and freaking yeah. out. And then we go into Annapolis, and that was nice, but traffic was awful. And then we went into Washington, D.C., and then we tried to get out of Washington, D.C. We couldn't even get out of Washington, D.C. Yeah. without low it's clearance bridges junction. and things you can't, no trucks this way and this, that, and the other. So it's been, um, if you have an RV and you have any desire to see Washington, D.C., I would say go to Washington State instead. Sure, yeah. it's 3,500 miles farther away, but it's a whole lot better than Washington, D.C. Um, go look on the internet, Google Washington, D.C. See all your monuments on the computer because, my goodness, this place is not RV friendly, not big rig friendly, not even truck camper. I mean, we're pretty low profile for, I mean, UPS trucks are bigger than us, mm -hmm. and we were getting our butts handed to us. So, fortunately today, for whatever reason, it's Thursday, but it was a slow day and uh, in town, and there wasn't traffic. Otherwise, yeah, that would have added Yeah, the traffic to this, wasn't bad. But people would have been honking like freaking crazy, because the one time we did pull over to get out of the way, I had to get back in, and I'm... I'm no! I'm sticking a third of the way out oh my goodness. of the lane, and it's just crazy. Like, people wouldn't let us over. So, my friends here, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. We'll oh, see you in the morning. That's what I'm